Now, today's Russia Soyuz 2.1B rocket will rise from Kazakhstan, carrying with it not astronauts, but an arc of small, voiceless passengers. It is being touted as the modern-day Noah's Ark. Inside the Beyond M number two biosatellite, 75 mice, more than a thousand fruit flies, plant seeds, cell cultures, and microorganisms will be sent on a 30-day journey around the Earth. Russia says the mission's purpose is scientific. It is to study how microgravity and cosmic radiation affect living organisms. It will be in an orbit that exposes the biosatellite to radiation levels at least 10 times higher, conditions designed to mimic deep space travel. A knowledge deemed vital for future deep space travel, but behind the clinical language of science lies a grim truth. Animals are once again being sacrificed to push humanity forward. Russia's space program has long relied on such sacrifices. The story begins in 1957 with Laika. It was a stray dog plucked from Moscow streets and launched aboard Sputnik 2. Laika never returned. Confined in a small capsule with no hope of rescue, Laika died from heat and oxygen deprivation. A lonely, preventable death that nonetheless etched its name into history books. The United States followed soon after with Ham. It was a chimpanzee sent on a suborbital flight in 1961. Ham endured invasive monitoring, electric shocks for mistakes and severe dehydration. Though physically survived, its psychological trauma outlived the mission. In 2019, Israel's Bereshit spacecraft crash-landed on the moon with thousands of at tardigrades, and there were tiny resilient water bears on board. Their survival remains unknown, suspended in silence. Decades later, the pattern remains disturbingly familiar. Russia's 2013 Bion N uh, number one mission subjected its animal crew to intense cosmic radiation. Rodents, amphibians, reptiles, crustaceans, mollusks, fish, insects, bacteria... Plant and animal cell cultures were on board. Now the Bion M number two biosatellite will repeat the same ordeal. For the animals inside, it may be a death sentence. And yet, their fate rarely makes headlines. Unlike military service dogs, which at least receive retirement programs, space animals have no formal exit protocols. They are tools, discarded when the experiment ends. The ethical question grows sharper as missions expand. Outer space law regulates issues like astronaut rescue, satellite registration, and liability for damages. Yet not a single provision protects animals, despite their pivotal role in space history. Their suffering is invisible in official records. Their deaths an unspoken cost of progress. As Russia prepares its new Noah's Ark launch, the scientific community celebrates another step toward human survival beyond Earth. Yet beneath the triumph lies tragedy, a reminder that for every breakthrough, countless small lives are extinguished and unremembered. Laika did not volunteer. Ham did not raise his hand. The mice, the flies, and the tardigrades they are drafted into humanity's grand ambitions without consent their stories ending in obscurity. First post now available in nine languages on YouTube. English.
French, le FMI, German, Hindi, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, Spanish. Go to settings, click on audio track and select the language of your choice. Be the first to know what's happening around you in your first language. First post. 